Welcome to Densply Rain Tree Essex Glen Rose line of educational video tutorials. Densply Rain Tree Essex Glen Row is committed to providing you with the educational tools for your success. The following educational video is for the use of the Drufamat scan with Essex Ace Plastic. Essex Ace Plastic is a clear solution for retention and can also be used for tooth movement aligners and temporary anterior bridges. Retention after orthodontic treatment is vital to maintaining a patient's new smile. Clear retainer is made from Essex plastic or an aesthetically pleasing option for patients who want to avoid wearing a retainer with a visible wire. Start by turning the Drufamat scan on. The switch is located on the back left side of the machine. There is no wait time for your Drufamat scan to heat up. The red laser will light up on the top of the Drufamat and the screen will read Drufamat scan. Open the box of Essex Ace Plastic and remove one sheet. Be sure to remove both sides of the protective film. Lift the tension ring off the plate reception on the left side of the Drufamat and place the plastic under the plate reception. Set the tension ring back on top of the plastic, securing it into the round pegs at the base. To help avoid broken models, residue from the stone, and any distortions to your appliance, spray the model with a trim right release agent by Densply Rain Tree Essex. Next, place the properly trimmed and sprayed model on the base of the machine. Using the lever on the left side, move the tension ring towards the base, lining up under the chamber. Using the lever on the right side, move the heating element over the plastic and under the chamber. Using your Essex plastic guide that was delivered with your Drufamat scan, select the appropriate size of Essex Ace plastic and place the barcode over the scanning element. If your Essex plastic guide is not available, you can use the barcode from the box of Essex Ace plastic. You will hear a short beep indicating the Drufamat scan is now preset with the heating and cooling times for Essex Ace Plastic and the thickness you have chosen. You are now ready to press the OK button on the front of the Drufamat. The heat indicator lights will shine red at the base of the Drufamat scan indicating the heating process has started. Once the heat time has expired, you will hear a long beep. Pull the lever on the right side, moving the heating element away from the base of the Drufamat. The lever is spring-loaded. Be sure to pull past that point and hold while simultaneously pressing the white button on the left side of the Drufamat. Continue holding the lever on the right side while pushing the white button on the left side of the Drufamat until you hear a long beep and the pressure bar on the Drufamat screen rises to level 2. You can now release both the lever and white button at the same time. The cooling process has started. Once the timer counts down to zero, you will hear a short beep, which indicates the cooling process is complete. Press and hold the white button on the left side of the Drufamat as the air releases and the chamber lifts from the model. Using the lever on the left, Pull towards you and away from the base. Remove the tension ring off the plastic. Your thermoformed Essex Ace plastic is now ready to be trimmed and polished. A comfortable appliance is critical for patient compliance and to achieve a successful treatment outcome. Using the right tools when trimming and polishing your appliance helps to assure the best possible fit. Starting with universal shears, Trim the excess plastic around the model, cutting straight across the back edge and near the base around the model. Cut a slit in the pallet area and be sure not to cut into the model. Using the Essex Lab Knife, cut the plastic away from the back distal molars of the model. Place the knife on the edge of the stone and plastic and push the knife in at an angle and then straight down. Starting from the back distal molar, place the flat rounded end of the cast removing instrument into the opening and push forward staying on top of the occlusal surfaces. Repeat going from side to side until the plastic separates from the model. Using the male or curved scissors, 
trim one to three millimeters above the gingival margin from both the lingual and labial surfaces. You are now ready to polish your Essex Ace appliance. Using the Scotch-Brite polishing brushes, start with a gold coarse or black medium grit brush and remove any rough edges. For the final polish, use the maroon fine brush for a smooth finish.